Hello. This is my solar oven, my solar box oven. Took me a while to figure out how to do this, but here it is. And uh, it's a piece of glass, one fourth inch thick, not tempered. Uh, trying to hold the camera and juggle all this. I bought a uh, ceramic pot, which I'll cook with. I painted the, the lid and the sides black. Because the dark color will absorb the heat. And then what I did is also, I try to do recycled stuff, you know, so for the tiles that absorb the heat, I just took some recycled, the broken tiles are tiles left over from people cutting for other projects. This was white tile, and of course the white light colors reflect the heat away, and darker colors absorb it. So I took the bottom of these tiles and painted them with black enamel paint and let it dry and it really sucks in the heat. Uh, at the bottom of the tiles though I've put barbecue sticks, uh, bamboo barbecue sticks that are running across the whole bottom. What they do is keep the tiles off of the bottom of the oven so that the heat being absorbed into the tile won't just be absorbed into the wood. And so it, it makes it more efficient. I'm sure you can understand that. Now basically, what this is, is I have a one, one fourth inch, one fourth inch uh, wooden box inside, one fourth inch cardboard wooden box inside of a 10 in, 10 mm, 10 mm uh, box outside. And then whatever thickness this wood is, that's the thickness of a, uh, the box on the inside and it looks more like one eighth plywood. That's the inside box thickness and this is the outside box thickness. Now I know you see some broken areas in the foil and I figured the foil can be replaced. Uh, I was thinking about using plexiglass mirror but that's kind of hard for me to find right now. I don't have a lot of time to play with this but basically is a foil coming in. I mean the sunlight, the sunlight hits this and the basic concept, I think if you're interested in solar ovens, you understand this. The sun hits this and reflects back down into this. And I have foil all around all four corners of the, uh, of the inside box with a black painted uh, bottom. The insulation between the two boxes is just newspaper. Of course, you can't see that now, but I made this box. I made this from the piece of glass that I had, which was a cover off of one of my fish tanks. And so I built this solar oven box around this piece of glass. And I want to thank some people who've really helped me do this. Number one, I want to help, I want to thank you, uh, I want to say thank you to Solar Cooking Nuts. She has really, she's got a good web page, a good uh, YouTube page. I encourage you to check it out completely dedicated to solar cooking. It's well worth checking out if you're interested. Solar cooking through solar ovens. And I learned a lot from her. And then I also want to thank Jay Grand 1958. J G R A N D 1958 because he really told me that I don't have to have tempered glass. I was looking for a trying to find a piece of tempered glass. He said his glass on his grill, check out his video and his YouTube page, his glass is uh, 3 8 thick glass, not tempered. So I realized I don't really have to have tempered glass. It's hard to find a big piece of tempered glass. And I don't really want to use plastic. So now I had some problems here. You, you saw this bowl here that I'm using. What I wanted to do is use this thing this one this big uh, roaster which I have but 
as you can see what happens when I put that in here watch this for which is a second when I put this roaster in it's too big now I'm not going to put the glass back the glass will fit but you can see the Sun coming in no, I will put the glass so you can see I'll put the glass I put this up like this, put the glass back down. I'm putting the glass down now. And now you can see that doesn't touch the top or anything, but I was thinking, I, I really skimped on materials. I should have made this at least three feet by three feet by 16 inches, then this would fit. If I were to use this big roaster instead of my ceramic bowl, how's the sun gonna get in there and go around it won't now having made a solar oven I'm excited to cook I won't be using that pan maybe some of you think I can use this pan tell me let me know what you think it's dark and it can, it can absorb the Sun but the Sun is gonna there's gonna be shades on the side compared to the, the ceramic ceramic bowl that I got but being exciting being excited to make this to to use this oven this is not really a solar oven day. It's totally overcast. We've, we just had a tropical storm uh, here in Cebu City, Philippines uh, the other day. And uh, it's still all overcast, so it's not a day for cooking, as you can see. I, I hope you can see this. But anyway, that's my project. And the next video you see with this, you'll see me cooking something. Some meat or some chicken, vegetables. But uh, again, all my thanks go to so we're cooking nut and J Grand 1958. J Grand 1958 and so we're cooking nut. You really helped me tremendously with this and uh, check out their videos on so we're cooking. That's it for now.